Oh, it's going to prove wrong. Good. <laughs> No headbutting, no elbows. Ten minute first round. Yep. Carrying something you know very well about. Round two and three will be five minutes if it continues to go past the first round. Yeah, and Kronak seemed really, really relaxed for this fight. Um, he seemed really confident in his training. He really enjoyed training with the Diaz brothers. Whoa! Girl with the rush. Jacoro tried to rush in there, and Crone had nothing, none of it. Yeah. Put up that right leg and said, no, you're taking this deep to your stomach. Oh, oh nice, nice there. left. Slip that, gets the clinch. This is exactly what he wanted to do. He wants his yep. fight down to the ground, because obviously his specialty is his exceptional submission game. Is it Gracie Jiu-Jitsu? Do I really have to answer that question? <laughs> <laughs> but we've had some surprises tonight. We have. I mean, Mirko did a takedown and submitted again. Butting of Mirko Krokop. That is unbelievable. Can't believe he predicted I I exactly Kron, how that fight was going to end. I think Kron's going to put on a kickboxing clinic right now. No, I think we're going to see a stock and slap at one point. Look at that. Nice. Takoro is swinging for the fences there. Yeah, he wants, he wants a knockout in this fight. He's confident in his ground game, but I'm not sure he wants to go down with Crone Gracie. Obviously, his accomplishments in the grappling world are phenomenal. And really, I'm, I'm impressed with Crone's stand-up so far. He's yeah. been doing this really, is exactly really what Crone wanted, to get the back. Eight minutes and 35 seconds to work with on the ground. He's already got two hooks in there. Yeah, not traditionally where you want a Gracie Jiu-Jitsu practitioner. Um, no. Yeah, of course, okay. either going to need to spin around to get Necron's guard, or could be looking at an early finish on, on fight tonight. Well, Krona, so what Takoro is doing smartly right now is controlling. Yes. He's got one arm underneath his, and he's controlling the left one, squeezing with his right and pushing down with the other one. But it's just a matter of time, in my right. opinion, before Krona is able to free these these hands out. And you see him as he's slowly moving higher and higher up on his back. And Takoro really needs to get one of those legs out so he can get his hips free. There's one. Now he's going to play the two-on-one -on -one game. Oh, fun. Old school. Kron very, very relaxed right here. Main event, the crowd is in it, cheering on their Japanese fighter, who's in survival mode right now. Yes. Trying to protect his neck as Kron Gracie slowly but surely inches up, trying to get an arm underneath the neck. This is a hand position game here, Heath. Yeah, absolutely. But also, Takoro needs to be getting those, getting the hooks out to get his hips free. Otherwise, he's got no mobility in his hips, and he's going to be stuck in this position. So not only does he need to be concentrating on keeping the, the arms away from his neck, he's got to be starting getting his hips free by getting Kron's legs out from on top of his hips. Now, good try on reversal. Good job there. By the floor, we'll yeah, for the careful. triangle choke Kron here. Definitely going for the triangle or armbar, actually. There's yep. Yeah, you're right. He's spinning off there yep. to his left, trying to get positioning for the arm, which is actually underneath. Yes. I think the officials outside better watch out here because Kron will keep striking. It might hit them. <laughs> it's a three D fight. <laughs> Yeah, and actually in this position, if Takoro will just yeah, sink his hips in, try to keep pressure back on Kron so Kron's not able to extend, he could look for a referee restart here. The referee is stating, you are allowed to strike the back, but you can't strike near the spine. Correct. Yeah, Takoro really should start opening up with his right hand. Oh, his face is right there. there in the armbar. Corona's also trying, if you notice, he's always it looked like he was trying to get back onto the back. Right. And yeah, Corona needs to keep driving his head down. So that, yeah, there you go. So what Corona's wanting to do is to get his right leg over Corona's head to separate it. And go either to an armbar or possibly an omoplata. 
We are approaching the midway point of our first round. Ten minutes, first round. And there's the floor. Able to get out there, up kick there by Cole Gracie. Nice action. I'm actually surprised Sakura went back into the bar. As am I. Nice. Oh, oh soccer, kick. soccer kick there. First one of the evening. Oh, nice. Cole is bitter. He is not happy right now. So, like you said, very surprised. Yeah, I'm back surprised, the actually. He's, I mean, he's doing a good job of keeping Connor on his back, which I don't think is a bad idea, but I wouldn't keep jumping right into his main game. And so far, I have this round scored for uh, Braun. Again, he's putting himself in danger. Oh. Oh, nice little sweep there. Excellent. Yeah, it seems like Takoro is actually trying to go for a leg lock. Good job by Kron yeah. keeping that left leg extended. Absolutely. Good pass. Look at that. It was virtually effortless there. Like, I mean, he just kind of faked left, faked right, right to the left. Absolutely. Right through, gets the back now again, two back hooks back, in. And back where we were. And now he's got four minutes to work. Looking for a rear naked choke. And this is where Takoro again plays the hand game, the chess match with the hands. Positioning is so important here. Yeah. And you're seeing Kron doing such a good job controlling his hips with his legs. That really can't be overstated. Uh oh, he's got pretty deep there on his left arm. But you can see there, yeah, Tokoro's bending the wrist there. Yeah, it's not good. Mm. And see, with his legs in, uh, Tokoro's not able to hip over. He's got to get his legs, but unfortunately, he's too too preoccupied with the arms for Kron. Three minutes, 20 seconds to go in our first round. Will Kron Gracie able to put on this choke here? Will he be able to finish off Tokoro in the first round? Will Hideo continue to survive here? Will he be able to get yeah. out there you go. before this round is over? Hideo has to keep working on getting those legs out so that he can have some movement in his hips. That was Kron's nice doing a really good job, no, actually, from the back. No, 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 some blows. Three minutes left in the round. There you go. We got one leg out now. Right back to the same position. Just trying to turn in. Yeah. Turn in. Right back to it. Yeah. At that point there, Kron made the decision to climb as opposed to continue. And he was able to stabilize that position there. I mean, this is this is where Kron wants to be. This is his bread and butter. Yeah. And there you go. Here comes the arm bar. Nope. Good job by Tukoro. Nice. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Oh. That hurt. Attempt to jump through the guard. A good a job. A soccer over there. there. Yeah. Here comes the leg attempt. Yeah. Leg to, oh, pulls it out. Kron oh, again will be attempting to pass. Yeah. And he did so with extreme yeah. ease. Why can't I do that in training? And take the back again with the hooks. <laughs> yeah, you would think when Takoro gets his space, instead of continuing to try to play the game with Kron on the ground, he, he would get back up by, where he feels he might have the advantage. And this is so taxing for the guy on the bottom. Oh, he's, huge. he's exerting twice as much energy, twice as much conditioning as, as Kron is. Oh, a minute and a half. A yep, minute and a half to go here in the he's first gotta round. Get, he's got to get that arm down. He is trying to get a choke here as well. It doesn't oh, he's, work he's yet, working yet. on it. But there's just too much space on Tokoro's left neck there. Now it's gone. I was going to try and swing that other arm underneath. Yep. Uh, but you see Tokoro with his left hand on the wrist. Pushing one, it down. Yeah, and once again, Kron's doing a really, really good job of controlling him by keeping his hips from being over there. And this is a situation where Takoro has to move, otherwise we're looking at a possible referee stoppage from unanswered blows. Once again, he's trying to work up on that choke. Punishing here, just punishing him here. They're not thunderous shots, no, but they're annoying. But and, as we've seen earlier, eyes, and it will stop the fight. Now that's a good hammer fist. Looking for the armbar. It's good there. hammer fist. Kron really being really, really there hard. Go. Right from that position. 30 seconds. He's got to get up and out of this. 
No. Yeah, it's now it's it. under. 23 seconds left. That's it. I think he got Can it. Can Takora survive? And no. Crow Gracie pulls off the submission victory. Worked so hard to get it. He finally got it. Well, and that's, and that's the problem in that situation. You put yourself in a bad situation, and you're giving a top tier jiu-jitsu practitioner the opportunity to choke you for 10 minutes. I mean... Cron Gracie with the rear naked choke. Just a fantastic performance. I mean, it was it was a chess match with the, with the hand positioning and what he was able to try and do. And listen, you got to give Takoro credit. He did a fantastic job defending it for a very, very long time, right? These are the kind of rounds the Gracies have always wanted. Well, technically speaking, they've never wanted rounds. They've just wanted unlimited time, correct? But in a 10-minute round, giving a jiu-jitsu guy like of, of Krohn Gracie's lineage and Krohn Gracie's skills and ability, sooner or later, he's going to get the positioning that he wants, he's going to get the submission that he wants, and he did so tonight. Well, yeah, and, and I don't understand why Takoro kept playing that game with him. He had several uh, several opportunities to get up, get away, but when he did it, he didn't take it. He put himself right back in a situation where Krohn was able to, to capitalize. It was a great match for me. I knew it was going to be a tough match. This guy has a lot of experience, and uh, I knew I had to be ready. I trained very hard for this. Um, <laughs> まずはですね、対戦相手となってくれたところ秀夫選手に敬意を表したいと思います。これあの大変厳しい戦いになるタフマッチになると予想しています。え、ま、彼は非常にあの経験豊富なあ格闘家であるので、そのように考えていたわけ